Triple H has a uh, Q&A, speaking of veterans, in the February 2011 issue of WWE Magazine. And Triple H, who, you know, and I've been saying this for a long time now, but he is on his way back very soon. Uh, not only is his movie coming out, The Chaperone, on, uh, on in theaters and on DVD next month, but he's already listed on the Madison Square Garden house show lineup for March 19th in a street fight with Sheamus. So that right there tells you what Triple H is going to be doing when he comes back. Anyway, he had a QA and a in the latest magazine, and there was one quote in there I wanted to read that I thought was kind of interesting to note. This is what Triple H says. He goes, in the past, my goal was just becoming the WWE champion or the world heavyweight champion. But there's a certain time when you get beyond that. Shawn Michaels moved beyond that. I don't have to be contending for a championship. Undertaker doesn't have to be in contention. Well, tell that to the writers on SmackDown. We've moved beyond needing a title to prove that we're the best. That's where I am now. John Cena will eventually be there. So, you read that comment, and it makes you think that Triple H has had an epiphany, that he has found religion in some way, in that he has finally come to the realization that he does not have to win a world championship every <laughs> every month or, or beat Ric Flair's record of 16 titles to necessarily consider himself a success in the business. I think Triple H has already carved out a rather comfortable niche for himself uh, in WWE and, and, and you know future Hall of Famer, 13-time world champion, he's won King of the Ring and Royal Rumble and he's led two different factions and the whole nine yards. Um, it would be nice. I, look, I said before that Triple H has been gone long enough where he's almost fresh to me now and I'm, I'm looking forward to his return. Now, maybe he'll come back and within a few weeks I'll regret saying those words. But if Triple H comes back and, and resumes his feud with Sheamus and moves on to some fresh feuds and helps put talent over, which doesn't mean Triple H should be jobbing to all the younger guys, but it, at the same time, he shouldn't be beating all of them and putting them in a box and sending them back to Ohio Valley Wrestling like he did with the Spirit Squad. So if, if those words are the truth and it's not just lip service that he's paying all of us, then thumbs up to Triple H. It's about time that he realized that. Triple H is one of those guys who can go to WrestleMania and does not have to be in the championship match. You can get more mileage out of WrestleMania by putting Triple H, one of your biggest stars, in a separate match and having the title match featured separately, so you almost have like a double main event type of thing. But you don't have to put Triple H in all the title matches. Now, I've also said recently that Triple H seems to be gaining more and more influence behind the scenes. Vince McMahon is not going anywhere anytime soon, at least we hope not. Um, but he's been put in charge of uh, certain events. There was a European tour not too long ago that Vince did not go on and Triple H was in charge. And, you know, the announcers probably loved it because he wasn't producing the announcers the way that Vince McMahon does and yelling at them. He kind of let them do their own thing. And a lot of the wrestlers seem to like the idea of Triple H being more in charge because he is quote-unquote, one of the boys, and, and again, unless he has a personal political beef with you, uh, maybe he's not all that bad of a guy. Now, of course, if he doesn't like you for some reason, then you're pretty much fucked. Uh, 